Okay guys, so I ended up not having rehearsals today because we had a lot of snow, as you guys probably saw. Um, you guys are gonna get to see a video of the amount of snow we had at the end right now. And yeah, it just really wasn't fun to shovel, but it got done, so I mean, whatever, it's fine. Hopefully we have rehearsals today which is when i'm posting the video we'll see hopefully because tech weeks this week and the show opens friday anyways i've gotten a lot of requests to show how i prep my wigs i guess it's very foreign to people wearing wigs i mean that makes sense i guess but yeah a lot of people want to know exactly what i do to prep my wigs so Today I have a powder room D-wig that I'm gonna be showing you how I prep. And here she is. She's super pretty. It's kind of similar to the one I have on, but it's a little different. I typically buy my wigs from Powder Room D just because, I don't know, they're, they're affordable. They're very nicely made. They have great customer service. Um, you can see like, the lines and everything, like the hair lines and everything are really realistic in their lace front. Anyways, I'm gonna be getting into how I do this. <laughs> um, all you're gonna need, or all I use at least, is scissors and tweezers. And you can kind of decide how big of scissors you wanna use depending on how steady your hand is, how quickly you're gonna do it. I definitely recommend going slower. Um, but yeah, so let's get into how I do it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut right along these lines. And we wanna be really careful not to cut off any hair. Okay, now here she is. She has all the lace off of the front so that's not all hanging in the front. And I'm just going to tighten in here. The like adjusters get clipped to these bands down here. So I always just tighten them to put them on my head just to kind of see and get an idea of if I like how the hairline is cut. If not, I tend to cut it back a little more and then thin it out. But usually I like the way that the hairline is cut. So we're just gonna really quick just like whip my hair off real quick. So we literally just take it. My hair is short enough for the most part to kind of hide in the wig so I don't really wear caps. But I always put it, pull it to the front, push the back. Ow. Get that down on the nape of my neck and just kind of adjust it back so that it comes back up to where my natural hairline would be. And then I have my wig on. And here she is. So I just take it back off and then I start doing the tweezing. So one of the things that makes a wig realistic is the hairline um, and the part. These do have really good hairlines typically. They have good spacing for the most part. I always like to just pluck a few X, like a bit of hair away just to make it look a little more realistic and have there be a little bit more of a part. So I will show you how I do that. I literally just take the tweezers in a pluck away hairs. I recommend doing them one at a time if you're new to it, just because you don't want to knock out too many pieces of hair and you don't want to rip the lace. Ripping the lace is crucial because it completely shatters the illusion of the natural hair and it just ruins your wig and you don't want to waste the 
good money you spend on a wig. So, like I said, you just see that. But we're just gonna pluck away hairs as we go. So, we take it and we just pluck some hairs as we go up. And like I said, just be super careful not to rip the lace. That's a key part. Um, if you want to kind of get an idea for how much you're pulling out so far, you can always just brush it through with a brush. I recommend getting a wig brush just because the, um, wow, I cannot think of words today. Pieces of the brush, you're just further apart, so it's not going to um, mess with your wig as much. Um, your wigs are a lot more sensitive than your hair is typically. So you're just gonna wanna be able to use a wider comb or brush. So as you can see, the gap is a bit bigger now, but I want it to be even bigger, so I'm gonna be doing that a bit more again. Awesome, and I'm pretty satisfied with that this time around. Um, you can see the, um, you can see the part more clearly now that you plucked it a bit more. So when you throw it on, it should look a bit more realistic. And there you go. So the part is a little more realistic. You could honestly probably do it a little bit more. You can't really see of the lighting but the part is more realistic now that it's like that typically I don't like middle parts so I tend to move the wig over to the side personally I feel like Kurt Cobain right now but um that's besides the point that's basically how I style my wigs there's also the step of getting this piece so over here you should have baby hairs so you should always this part t tends to flip and flop you can always 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 take it and i highly recommend doing this take the front bit like that so this part that should be your baby hairs yeah and just take it with your scissors wherever i put mine i'm gonna flip this up and over just to get it out of the way like this and i'm just gonna take it and razor it so that i can get um some better baby hairs going over here And now that that's done, you just take it and you need to glue it down a bit. I recommend eyelash glue or I recommend got to be glued um, hair gel, which has a nice sticky consistency. I'm going to be using the Duo brand for eyelashes and I just dab it down. right over where my hair is and I plop the hair down just so that it doesn't flop as much and it doesn't blow as much so if the wind ever comes so on this side if you pull back your hair is going to be placed down and you can't really see the difference like the hair stays down and it sticks it doesn't blow up if you don't have it 
your hair is going to pull back and it's going to flop like this. So it's just the difference in it looking more realistic. That little bit of glue really goes an extra mile, especially when the wind blows. That is how I do my wigs. I really hope that this helped anybody that was looking into getting wigs or that just was curious or that wanted to try them. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time.